What's up guys? Today I'll be showing you a brand new gel blaster from Lei Hui. They're the same gel ball manufacturer who made the Chris Vector as well as the Org. I like that they're continuing their trend of not making M4s by bringing out this SIG 552 Commando. This blaster was sent to me by Michael at Tac Toys. If you want to save 10% off your purchase, use my discount code BRAD. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the blaster and all of its features. I'll then chrono the blaster stock, chrono the blaster with a quick install 1.3 spring. Then I'll do an accuracy test, including three round burst and full auto. And that'll end with some gameplay. Let's get into it. The SIG 552 is a mag-fed AEG gel blaster. It features semi, full auto and a three round burst fire mode due to a MOSFET inside and the stock collapses down for CQB play and also allows you quick access to changing out the spring. First thing I want to discuss is appearance. Lee Huey have done an excellent job replicating the real SIG 552. Even the little things like being able to move the trigger guard out of the way to use it with snow gloves, even though that's not something we'd ever do in Australia. The real SIG is for Switzerland use where they would have thick snow gloves in the winter. I also like that the mags are this transparent brown color, just like the real thing. You can see into it and see how much ammo you have left. The mags also couple together. So you could have like six of these looking ridiculous, hanging off your blaster, ready to go when you run out of ammo in one of the mags. The mag also rocks into the mag well similar to an AK. And the reason they do that is the real steel SIG is used in cold climates and that's a superior locking mechanism for in cold. My only complaint from a replica standpoint is that the charging handle doesn't lock back. So on this side of the blaster, the bolt release doesn't even move and doesn't form any kind of function at all. But the charging handle does prime your mags though, so that the gels are all fed up, ready to fire immediately. So I guess it's a bit of a trade-off and I think it might actually be worth it. Externally, the blaster is mostly made of nylon, but it does have some metal parts. So the top Picatinny rail is metal, the charging handle is metal, the trigger itself is metal, as well as the flash hider on the front. Internally, you've got metal gears and an alloy barrel. Despite being mostly nylon, it does have some nice weight to it and it weighs about two kilos, I guess. As usual, let's start at the front of the blaster and work our way back. So first up, we have a metal flash hider, which unscrews to reveal a 14 mil counterclockwise thread. So you could easily screw on a tracer unit or a muzzle tech hellfire hop up to increase your accuracy. Personally, for the rest of the video, I'll be using the hellfire hop up, especially in the accuracy test and gameplay. Also sitting inside of that outer barrel, about an inch back is your inner barrel which is an alloy barrel. You've got a couple of front sling points on the blaster as well as a side and bottom Picatinny rail. And the blaster is actually front wired. So it's a little switch on top of the handguard here, which allows you to access the battery compartment. It comes with this tiny little 7.4 volt battery, but there's plenty of space in here to fit an 11.1 volt. And that's what I'll actually be running in my blaster today although I will check the rate of fire with the 7.4 as well. And like a lot of the Chinese blasters in this price range, it just uses a JST SM connector for the battery. After installing the battery and putting the battery door back on, we can now come to the charging handle. As I pull this back, you can hear that the motor in the mag turns. And what that's doing is feeding gel balls up the feed tube of the mag, getting them ready to fire immediately when you pull the trigger. So as soon as you change mags, if you do that, it's a lot quieter than firing the blaster. A bit better for stealth out on the gel ball field. Now, something interesting with the mags is that the mag loading door actually opens the opposite way of pretty much every other gel blaster mag. It opens from the outside inwards rather than the inside outwards. I think this is actually better because it makes it easier to open with thick gloves on. The mags can also couple together just like the real SIG 552. And to insert the mag, you do have to rock the mag in just like the real SIG 552. 
as I mentioned earlier, I was quite impressed that the trigger guard can fold out of the way for use with thick snow gloves. Not really needed in Australia, but I just thought it was a nice touch. It can actually go both ways. The metal fire select is ambidextrous, so no matter which way you're shouldering the blaster, you can easily access the single three round burst or full auto modes. The single shot, three round burst and full auto are also copying what the real SIG has. And personally, I really like three round burst or any burst mode at all on gel blasters due to the inherent inaccuracy of gel balls. Generally, if you have a red dot sight on here and you fire in a burst, at least one of the gel balls is gonna go where you wanted it to. Above the fire select, you've got the rear iron sight, which actually rotates and clicks into different settings. I won't be using the iron sights, I never do. I'll just chuck a red dot sight on here and that is that. And finally, now we're at the rear of the blaster. You've got a folding stock. If you push that button in, releases it, you can fold it, clicks into the side of the blaster, you can run around with it in CQB, taking up less space. But this also allows you to have quick access to the spring can just get a screwdriver and twist that out and upgrade the spring on the fly. If you have different games that you play at with different velocity limits, it's quick and easy to change between the different games. I will actually test an upgraded spring in this as well today, as well as the stock spring. I wouldn't recommend going any higher than a 1.3 because the piston has only one metal tooth on it, the rest are all nylon, and eventually you'll wear them out if you go too high. So yeah, I'll be testing a 1.3 in this as well as a stock spring. Now, before I get to chrono testing and accuracy testing the SIG, I just wanna quickly point out an issue I had with it, trying to use Ozgel's Ultra Elites in this. Ultra Elites are the hardest gel balls available on the market. They kind of have a jamming issue in this blaster that no other gel does. Rather than try and explain it, let's show you what happened. All right, first up, let's do a mag of Ultra Elites. and it's already jammed up just after a couple of shots. There are two Ultra Elite sandwiched next to each other inside of the T-piece. And even if I pull the trigger, they can't get past each other. So now I've cleared that jam out, let's do AKAs. That's the end of the mag. So when using Ultra Elites, because of how hard they are, if they double feed into the T-piece, they can't get past each other. And it happened in just a few shots, they jammed up the blaster and you have to like get a little stick or something to get them out of the T-piece. This doesn't happen with any other type of gel that I used. In fact, the rest of the video, I'll be using AK gels, which are also hard, just not as hard as Ultra Elites. So now let's get on with the chrono test. Okay, first up, we'll check the velocity of the stock spring. 273, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 279-279, 
288, 301, 302, 298, 292. Okay, so with the 1.3 spring, we got a low of 288, high of 305, and an average of 296. So this is actually averaging low enough that I'll just keep this in the blaster for the gameplay as well. Okay, so now let's check the rate of fire of the blaster. First, we'll start with the tiny little 7.4 volt that it comes with. Let's see what that gets in rounds per minute, divide by 60, and we'll get rounds per second. Okay, so that got 9 rounds per second. Let's chuck in an 11 volt battery and see how much that improves it. Wow, so the 11 volt battery actually improved the velocity by about double to 17 rounds per second. Not bad for just upgrading the battery. Okay, so now let's head to the firing range. We'll shoot at a 1 meter diameter round target from a distance of 30 meters. I'll do 3 round burst and we'll see how consistent it is that a three round burst, at least one of them will hit the target. Muzzle tech hop up. Let's fire some three round bursts. Okay, so that's the grouping of the SIG 552 Commando with the muzzle tech hop-up attached. Honestly, it's not much different than other stock gel blasters that all you've done is add a hop-up. Remember though, we're firing bursts. So now I'm just gonna highlight in red how many shots missed entirely versus how many had at least one hit the target. Out of 16 shots, only two of those missed the target entirely. That's the difference burst firing makes in gel ball. And now, just for the fun of it, let's show full auto, which is how most people will realistically use a gel blaster. And now let's just fire some full auto. This is how most people would use it. So now I'll summarize what I think of the blaster, and then I'll end with some gameplay footage. Overall, I think Lee Huey have done an amazing job of replicating what the real SIG is like in this gel blaster. The small details like folding the trigger guard out the way and having three round burst definitely helped make this stand out as a good replica. The blaster is really solidly built and being able to shoot 274 FPS average straight out of the box brings this on par with all of the modern gel blasters you can buy from this price range. Also, being able to quickly fold the stock and change out your spring to get 300 FPS with a 1.3 upgrade spring is a definite bonus, and that's what I was using for the whole day. It is unfortunate that it jams with Ultra Elite gel balls. They are the hardest and most accurate gel ball on the market right now, and they're what I'd normally use in any other blaster, although the AKs I was using actually grouped pretty well. Especially with that burst fire mode, only two trigger pulls out of 16 missed the target at 30 meters, which I'm pretty impressed with. Also keep in mind that a lot of places in Queensland actually banned 
ultra elites. So a lot of people will be using AKs anyway. But yeah, if you want to pick up one of these SIG 552 Commandos, I'll leave a link to it down below. You can save 10% with my discount code BRAD, which also goes to support the channel. Let's end the video with some gameplay. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Ready as ever. Try dropping the other thing. Yeah. Half dip. Ah. Got him. Hello, puppet. Hit. I'm ready. Oh, are you fucking serious? I should have just shot you. I can't tell. Got to look at generally on the front of yeah, the blaster. Yeah, you're, you're this way. I was going to Sorry. Oh. We're done. Oh, you got me. Yes, just three.
in here. Him. Got him. Oh, hit. By you, hit. <laughs> <laughs> 